Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Heroes YouTube channel. I'm Sam. I'm Henry Haver. And we're talking about one thing and one thing only today, and that is the Tyree Kill trade. Folks, let's get straight into it. All right, before we get into this video, please like the video and consider subscribing. Share the video with a friend, comment. Either of those really helps us out, spreads the channel. Sam, let's get into the trade details. So uh, let me be transparent here. Uh, it's gonna be a first from this year. It's going to be a second from this year, a third from this year, a third and fourth from next year, and that's it. So all the ones from this year are, I think, 29th, if that really matters. None of the picks that they're getting are incredibly amazing. Uh, but no, I mean, no, the, I'm the saying- The first round pick is a 29th overall pick. Yes. So it is assumed that the rest are, because that's how it works, unless they traded them. Um, I'm not sure. I know, but, well, there's two third round, I don't know. Right, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, it's interesting. So I'm most I wanna hear what you think curious. first, we both kind of gave our thoughts on this, but you gave your thoughts you really just kind of presented the information where I actually give a few thoughts and I want to hear what you have to uh, say. Check out his explanation on our TikTok. Um, basically, I feel like it was, they got good value. They are going to sign some receivers. I'm pretty sure they already did, right? They're not going to sign any more receivers. They got, um, they didn't get any receivers. Scandling, right? No, or, that was the Chiefs. Yeah. We're talking about the Dolphins. No, I'm talking about- Oh, you're talking the about the Chiefs. Chiefs. Oh, well then yes, they got Juju so Smith-Schuster, they my, just got Marcus I know, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about the Chiefs right now. Well, then go. Um, I feel like they gave up Tyree Kill, obviously, for good value, but I really don't think he they should have done that. But and why? It's complicated. Well, they have- speak, we got They have such a great connection between Mahomes and Tyreek. I just think it's going to be a challenge, but they did bring in two pretty- above average wide receivers into the team. Personally, I feel like for the Dolphins, uh, Tyreek Hill on their team is gonna be really good if Tua can play like a real quarterback, um, not underthrow the ball, be able to unlock Tyreek's potential like Patrick Mahomes did. The only, I just don't think a deep threat matches with Patrick Mahomes. We were talking about this um, on our last video that they need to surround him with players that will help him. I think Tyreek will help him, but I feel like not in the deep threat part where he specializes Sam. I both agree and disagree with a lot of the things you just said. The thing I um, disagree with uh, is that the Chiefs got good value out of this. No way, are you kidding? Now, I now I, 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 you did say that the Chiefs got good value. And in addition to that, this is not like a good move for the Chiefs. It really confuses me that they did this, not because of the connection that Mahomes and Tyreek had. They were gonna have to pay Tyreek eventually, right? But they still had him under contract for an, another year. You're still, you're not gonna have to pay him for another year minimum. If they you, probably like, should have kept them. Oh, well, let, let, me, let me get there. And so point being, um, like you didn't have to pay him. You could have kept him for another year, but instead you decide to trade him. I, I don't understand that, but uh, I mean, maybe you're trying to get some value out of him, but you could have done during the draft when teams are more desperate. I, I It felt rushed. That was a big thing. It felt really rushed. It felt like it happened so quick. It felt like people woke up that day. Tyreek was like, pay me some big money next year. And the Chiefs were like, you know, what? we'll just trade you now and I, I don't understand it. I get that he went back to Miami, that was his hometown, it makes sense. But in terms of the Dolphins, look, I like what the Dolphins are doing, I really do. And it feels like 49ers, it, it's giving me 49ers vibes. Uh, what I mean by that is that it feels like a quarterback that doesn't really have a big arm, but that can be a field general quarterback and you know make, make good throws and kind of put the ball in the receiver's hands and let them work. I believe that that will work. I believe that this can be a good offense. My problem, the fact that it's, like you said, it doesn't unlock Tyreek's full potential. Now, that's not saying that Tyreek is not going to be a great player otherwise. He doesn't have to be this big deep threat to, to be a great player. He is a fantastic player aside from that. 
but it adds to his game and he's not gonna have that in Miami, at least for the time being. So in addition to me not understanding this move completely for both sides a little bit, it really doesn't make sense to me that the, um, uh, the Dolphins are doing this with Tua, but I think they should give Tua another year, give him a chance. Uh, let me say one more thing real quick. I know I'm ranting a little bit, but the Browns, sorry. we saw a similar situation. I said, sorry, you're good at ranting. Okay. Uh, the Browns, we saw a similar situation, right, with Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham, and they let Odell Beckham walk. They were like, you know, you're unhappy here. We want to keep up. Uh, Baker Mayfield, we think you're the problem. So we you're saying went, we could no, 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 no. If you let me finish, Baker Mayfield, they thought was the right decision. They thought he's not the problem. Odell Beckham's the, Odell Beckham's the problem. Complete opposite. That was the completely wrong decision. I trust the Dolphins organization when it comes down to it to choose Tua as the problem and let him walk and pick up a different quarterback and obviously keep Tyree Kill because Tyree Kill will not have been the problem. They know, I believe that the Dolphins organization will recognize that if there's a problem within that offense, it is more than likely Tua. Um, yeah, it, I wouldn't say necessarily Tua is a problem. I don't think, I he, think fits he can be. System. I don't think he fits their system. I think he fits the system right now. I don't think he will. And I, I don't think this system is right for them to go in a Super Bowl. I think if they really want to go win a Super Bowl with this kind of roster that they have, they have to go get a bigger on quarterback to make a Super Bowl run. And they have Tyreek for four years, right? They have Toronto Armstead for five. They've got time, but they got to Who move. knows? Tua could improve his arm strength. Tua could. No, can... no, that's not how that works. By this point, guys who have their arm strength have their arm strength. You know, it's not going to get any higher. The Dolphins need to move on from Tua within the next two years if it's not working, or else they're not going to get right. All right, and thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. We know it was a little short, but we still hope you enjoyed. And we're working on a couple projects right now that we will get out to you, and we'll see you next time.